So I work with students all across the country and a lot of art teachers all across the country. And a question that I get asked a lot is, why do a bark plate? Why try to recreate an image that already exists that another artist made? And um, it's really uh, the best way to learn technical drawing skills is to start paying very careful attention to the choices that artists made before you. Um, for example, in music, we have students play other people's compositions to you know, learn how to control the volume of their instrument and learn all the notes that they may need, and then they become composers of their own after learning how to play other people's music. Um, so in the art world, what we're really learning when we are copying a bark plate like this is how did he take very complex information and simplify it? Um, how was he thinking about this information? Um, what tools does he have at his disposal? Um, so one thing that we can see is that by using straight lines, we're able to accurately describe curves. That's a really important lesson, especially for young artists that are interested in drawing realistically. Um, as we go throughout the drawing, uh, throughout this course, I will make sure to point out um, lots of ways um, and lots of ideas that Charles Bark is trying to teach us in this course. Um, and it's also really important to remember that this course was designed for teaching these skills to students. That's why they are done in phases um, this way. And throughout history as well, um, lots of artists in their journals and in their letters make mention that you know, their greatest teachers were the artists that were long dead before them, but they were able to learn from them by um, copying their paintings in the Louvre and studying their drawings. And so essentially what we're doing is we are teaching students some really fundamental drawing skills that uh, the best way for them to learn is to actually see it and do it for themselves. So that is the reason why this drawing course was so effective when it was created and why students today can learn so much from going through the process as it was intended by the instructor creating the course.